I want to know all the instances and all the relationships that exist. Yeah, I, I mean, if I could chip in, I also found, or like what I'm finding is that using a knowledge graph doesn't avoid the use of LLMs. In fact, it's, it's just a way of, a different way of feeding the LLM through retrieval. Um, and then to answer your, your, the point that you brought up, Matthew, I, I would say that, you know, even if context increases and even if we can keep going with those, um, just embeddings and, uh, vector search, then it, at least in, in my use case, like the, the issue is exhaustivity and I, I want to know all the instances and all the relationships that exist, not just the top eight or 20 or whatever I put surface through top K. Um, I really want to understand the whole neighborhood of a specific concept. And I also find that, and I mean, I might be wrong on this, but, uh, that a knowledge graph might allow me to get a sense of the evolution of, uh, of the knowledge represented in that graph. So as, uh, in, in my case, the law evolves, you, you would have, uh, changes in the knowledge graph and you could see those in a, in a way that's more accurate than just vector embeddings that you retrieve and like see how the relationships in the graph evolve.